Hi, and welcome back to the Wicked Thrifter Resale Channel. We're back at it today, off to some Goodwills to see if we can find some items to buy and sell and flip on eBay for a profit. The first find today is this Blue Sky Clayworks Elephant Teapot. They're still worth a pickup if they don't cost too much. This I probably paid a little too much for, but I still grabbed it. Here's an item to keep an eye out for. This is Pinky and the Brain. I believe it's Nickelodeon, and they can sell for a decent amount of money. These had some damage, so I did leave them behind. Um, and the current sold was like $44 plus shipping. I thought this was interesting. Obviously a cow figurine or sculpture of some sort, but there wasn't any signatures on it and I didn't take the time to look it up. I probably should have. They had some charming tail items in the back. I've noticed that the value on those, at least the sell, sell for amount has dropped on them, so I didn't really take the time to look them up. I'm here, I'm just scanning the shelves to see if I spot anything that stands out. Anything that catches my eye. And this was a little fused glass um, plate. I have one similar in my shop already on eBay. Um, and I was looking to see if maybe this one had a signature on it. And it did not. This I kind of grabbed. I do have it listed, but it's probably something that I'm going to keep for myself for a little Christmas decor. They don't go for much, but they sell for about $8 to $12. They have Christmas out, of course. It's been out for a while, and I'm just checking to see if there's anything that I either can't live without or I think I can resell for a decent profit. That was a little stocking holder. And this was a blown glass, I believe, ornament. It's hand-painted. There was only one, um, and I didn't see any signatures or anything on it. I left it behind. Hopefully I didn't make a mistake. I thought this was interesting. It was hand painted obviously and it was a larger like stein size but I left that and I did grab this however. I believe it's German and I believe um, it should sell between 40 to 50 dollars. There are some listed for a little bit higher. I grabbed this of course. I grabbed pretty much every Peggy car piece I come across. I was looking for the signature and this one was pretty disguised in the texture, but I did find it and they only wanted $6.99 for it. I picked this up. It's an enamelware like charger or plate um, and it was $3.99. I was hoping I'd come across like a set of them um, being Christmas is coming up. So I did put it in the cart, but I ended up putting it back because it doesn't sell for a ton of money alone. And I said it probably would do pretty well. I actually thought this would be worth more, and maybe it still is, but there are no current solds on this item. The most recent sell sold of this piece is back in 2018 for $39. And it's listed currently for about $41. Um, but there's no current solds in the last two years, so I end up leaving that behind. And here's a matching cup to that plate, the enamelware plate that I found. Again, I didn't find any more pieces, so I end up putting that back. 
This is the second time in this video you'll see that I was at this location. I spotted this art glass vase down on the bottom. I end up putting it back. They wanted $8.99 for it. There was no signatures and I looked online and it seems that it sells around $30 to $40. It probably wouldn't have been a bad pickup, but I have so many glass pieces that without it being signed, I'm trying to be more picky. And this was a nice, obviously handmade stoneware pottery piece. It's actually a jar or an urn. Um, I chose to leave it behind. But I did grab this for sure. It's a McCoy vintage uh, ghost tea light. Or you can have like a little light in there. Like a night light. Um, here I'm trying to show you the mark. But I did a poor job of that. But it says McCoy USA on it. And it was only $4.99. I picked this up as well. They wanted $4.99 for it. A hand carved bird. It reminds me of like 1970s decor or Swedish decor. So I did grab that. I think it'll do well. I also purchased this little music box. It's Henri Italian and it works. Didn't look like there was any broken or pieces or chips on it. And now this is another location I was at this day. Again, this is a section where they kind of curate and they put the expensive things or things that they can get a higher profit on, on this one section of shelf. Um, that was an art glass piece that was signed. However, they wanted $20 for it. This is an Orifer. Oh, I don't even know how to say the name, but Orifers? I'm getting that completely wrong, I bet. And some other art glass, or there's a bottle, vintage glassware, or drinkware. And some of these items are still here from the last trip that you saw on a previous video. They did have on the other shelf, I don't know if I go back and look at it again, but there are um, Berg, Bergen, Bergen, I'm not sure if that's how you say it, but that um, like rooster folk already set um, but they had them priced individually the pieces and they were pretty high um, so I ended up leaving them so you can kind of see uh, I don't think I did a good job I didn't go back up I did grab this so I probably should not have it's $12.99 I don't know what I was thinking but it's salt glaze it's salmon falls and it's got the blueberries on it the ones that have the basket of blueberries tend to do better for me. I thought this seagrass like bag or basket was nice, but they wanted 20, I think $20 for it. I don't know if you can see that on there. And there is some Taylor Smith Taylor, I think, uh, dinnerware in that bowl. I do grab this pottery piece, it's like a divided relish or candy dish. And it is signed and they wanted, I believe, $10.99 for it. It's been there in the past um, and I passed over it. It's been at the store in the past and I've passed over it, but I did grab it this time. And I spotted this out of the corner of my eye and I wanted to take a look. Had it not been filled and it was heavy, I couldn't even lift it. I probably would have grabbed it. Um, but they wanted $59.99 for it, and there was no way with it being filled like that that I would ship it. It would have been so expensive. I spotted this, and I grabbed it. It was $8.99. There were no chips or cracks, and I should get a decent profit. I picked this up, however, it's not something that I probably will pick up again. It only sells for $8 to $12, and it was $3.99. And again, I'm trying to get about $15 profit minimum on each of the items I pick up. Doesn't always happen, but that is my plan. I'm just checking out the pottery to see if anything else stands out that I want to take with.
And then the vase section, I found this Goebel porcelain vase. I didn't know that they made vases, but this was only $6.99. It looks like I put it back, but I do grab it, and it should sell for an okay amount. I thought it would sell for more than $26.97, but we'll see how it does. But I grabbed this for sure. It already actually sold. I listed it, and it sold the same day. And I paid $10.99 for it, and it sold for $44.97. That's going to wrap it up for us today. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And here's your recap. See you in the next one.